<clears throat> All right guys, Kremlin here and today I'm going to be showing you how to open your NAT for Xbox Live, PSN or whatever the hell you play. This will be, I'll be showing you how to open it through the Netgear, Network Genie. This is how, because I have a Netgear, I have a Netgear router so. First step, go ahead and open your browser. You're going to want to log into your router. And for Netgear, you're going to want to type in 192.168.1.1, enter. And uh, once you log into your router, some of the things you need to already have selected before we start on these methods is to go ahead and go to your UPnP and I uh, check this box turn UPnP on hit apply and then go to go to setup WAN setup and then you're also going to want to for NAT filtering check the open and then under that disable SIP ALG go ahead and check that box and hit apply and the first method I'm going to show you is going to be port triggering and uh, go ahead and go to advanced setup port forwarding slash port triggering click on that I already has this port forwarded I'm going to go ahead and just delete these go ahead and click it down on port triggering you're going to want to hit add service service name just put yeah, Xbox One service user nah, nah, nah. Um, the first is going to be TCP. You're going to type in 88 for triggering port, and then 88 also will be easy. This is what it should look like. Service name F Xbox One, user any, type TCP, triggering port 88, etc. Hit apply. Do a second. You want to hit add service again. Xbox 2 or whatever you want to name it, TCP, 3074, TCP UDP, 3074, and also again through the ending port. And that's what that should look like. Hit apply. Go ahead now and uh, turn off your Xbox or, or whatever you have it on and uh, reset, your X reset your router, which you, you should know how to do that. And, uh, go on to the next method. I'm going to go ahead and just delete these. I'm going to show you uh, port forwarding. And for this you're going to need to have a static IP address which you can just go ahead and make that for your Xbox. And with Netgear, I'll show you. And click that service name, Xbox One, or whatever you want to name it. External port, 88. External end port, 88 look like this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my IP address static for my Xbox so I'm gonna make this this is just my choice 192.168.1.200 and when I go on to my Xbox I'm also gonna change the IP address to 192.168.1.20 then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply add custom service again Whatever you want to name it. This time I'm going to do port 3074. 3074. And also, again, for the internal IP address, whatever you choose, I did 192.168.1.200. Hit apply. And then go ahead, do the same thing. Reset your router, turn off your Xbox, and then should be open. Okay. Next method. This is going to be the DNZ. Go ahead and go to setup. WAN setup again. Where we mess with the NAT filtering. And you're going to want to select default DMZ server. And for this, you're also going to need your static IP address. And I'm going to use what I originally chose, which was 192.168.1.200. And that's all you have to do for that. And um, 
this works for some people didn't work for me uh, what actually worked for me was port triggering and um, I don't know why I had it port forwarded a while ago I guess I was messing with it before the video and go ahead and click apply reset your router and <laughs> if, if none of those methods work hopefully this works if not it might be your ISP if you have like a um, fiber optics usually you'll have like a gigabyte switch or some kind of other router and uh, that's what I had. It was a D link, but luckily for me, it wasn't. My cause the problem. All right. Well, I hope this helped, guys. Peace out.